guys, it's Jen, and today I wanted to share with you my everyday anti-aging skincare routine. And let me just say, this is super simple. A lot of companies will try to sell you on very complicated and very over-the-top routines, but honestly, I've had a lot of skin challenges my whole life. I've battled a lot of acne, hyperpigmentation, fine lines and wrinkles. I've had two babies, so lots of hormonal shifts through all of that, and I breastfed them, so I was like super dry through all of that as well. So my skin's just been through a lot. I'm not one of those naturally blessed with perfect skin people, but now I'm 38 and I feel like I do get people saying that I look quite younger than my age and I have to owe it to my simple anti-aging skincare routine. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I did want to say a huge shout out and thank you to Amiro. It's this little RF device and I'm super excited to share about this device with you guys because you know like radio frequency is such a huge thing, especially here here, but also like in Korea. I've had so many of my friends talking about it and this is a really great one that does a couple of different things. So I'll share a little bit more about them later in the video, but let's go ahead and get started with my anti-aging routine. I promise you it's not complicated and it actually is very, very effective. We're gonna start off with cleansing the skin. So the combo I've been using lately is Crave Beauty Makeup Rewind. This is an oil cleanser to get any excess oil, makeup, waterproof things that are stuck on your face off. And then the cleanser I've been using is Cosmic Dew Water Cleanser from Good Light. This is such a great cleanser because it gets all of that makeup oil residue off while still keeping your skin very hydrated and plump and moisturized. The one thing you want to do is avoid anything that is overly stripping of the skin. You don't want to remove all of the beneficial oils protecting your skin barrier. That is a very important thing, especially for anti-aging. Oh, I also wanted to mention these little wristbands are like my new favorite thing. They basically catch the water drips falling down so you're not like having wet elbows while you're washing your face. It's so cool. I'll link it down in the info box below if you guys wanna check it out, but it's kind of life changing. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be using my Amiro device. This is just something that I've been starting to use recently, but it feels like a home spa when you use it. It's a radio frequency device, which actually fits in really well with my anti-aging routine because radio frequency actually helps to stimulate collagen production under the skin. So if you don't really know much about a lot of the causes of aging in your skin, probably the number one biggest thing is that collagen is underneath your skin. It's sort of like the parts that hold the outer layers of your skin to the inner layers and it makes your skin look youthful and bouncy and full and over time and through aging you kind of lose a lot of that so we want to be stimulating that and making it nice and plump and juicy again. It actually has two different modes. In EMS mode, which helps to sort of give your skin a workout and can give a visible lift, so you have to look like really snatched for an event. And then the second mode it has, which is actually my favorite, is the anti-aging one. I believe it has radio frequency. It also uses red light LED, which I am just a huge fan of. And then this also uses infrared light technology. And it feels a little bit warm but it actually has like a built-in feature where it's not going to overly get hot and burn your skin but you definitely want it to have that water-based product underneath here to give it a slip also let me just say this is a very very smooth surface it's not causing any kind of friction or damage to my skin this is like my relaxing end of the evening like laying in my bed while watching TV self spa moment you know I also really like using this on my neck I don't know if you guys have like the lines on your neck what do they call it like tech neck when you're looking down at your phone all the time because I feel like a lot of us we go for the skincare on our face and then we forget about our neck depending on how dry the air is and how dry my skin has been sometimes I like using my Laneige cream skin as my toner or watery lotion step this just helps give me a little extra hydration and I feel like if my skin is a little more parched it helps my active sink in better. I'm going to be moving on to the actives. So I have a couple of favorite ones and I wanted to first mention the ones that I use in the daytime, which is mainly a vitamin C. This is going to help brighten your complexion. It helps with some of the hyperpigmentation. It gives you a little bit extra glow. Basically, it kind of helps to prevent the free radicals in the environment from attacking your skin and causing it to prematurely age. So this is my favorite one, SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic. It's 
spicy, but it just has a way of just delivering what it's asked to do. Like you actually see an improvement in your skin. But there's a lot of vitamin C's out there, a lot of really great ones. You wanna have it in a dark container. Don't buy a vitamin C in just like a clear container because ingredients like L-ascorbic acid, which is one of the most common types of vitamin C, actually break down really quickly in light. So even something like this, I usually put in a dark cupboard. So protect your vitamin C. I also really love alpha arbutin. This is an ingredient that is a derivative of, you might have heard of hydroquinone, which is a bleaching product. I don't use too much, just a little. Alpha arbutin has, it's called a tyrosinase inhibitor, which means that the melanin production in your skin, it actually like prevents that from happening in the first place. So I actually think using alpha arbutin is really good for preventing new age spots to crop up, you know, because it, halts that production in the first place. This one's from The Ordinary. You can use it in the morning or the night. And then my baby is definitely tretinoin. I just use about a pea-sized amount and then I spread it across my whole face. I have worked up to using it one time a day in the evenings. I don't actually put this on my face during the daytime because I think sunlight actually makes the tretinoin break down. I literally dot it all over my face and then blend it in. I can do a whole video about retinol and how to taper onto it if you would like. If you want to see that let me know in the comments because I know it's kind of a whole process to be honest. I'm just putting it on to show you guys. <laughs> I don't usually put this on during the day, but yeah. And especially when I was breastfeeding, I just felt like I got so many more fine lines and wrinkles because my skin was so dehydrated from all of the milk production that was happening. This was the biggest thing that helped turn around all of that whole process once I finished breastfeeding. So I actually feel like my skin looks kind of better than it did like four or five years ago. I feel like in the skincare community, they know <laughs> tretinoin is king. <laughs> Next, I'm going to moisturize. So I have a couple of different moisturizers I like using. I have my daytime moisturizer, which I really love. It is oil-free, so it's a little bit on the lighter side, but it's still very hydrating. And then I have one for the evening that's a little bit more occlusive. So it helps just seal in all of the good juicy hydration and moisturization at the end of the night and helps my actives to just get locked down. I just feel like it's good to have something a little bit thicker when your skin is repairing itself overnight. But during the day, like right now, I'm going to be using this one. It's by Olga Lorenzen. Just for reference, my evening moisturizer I've been using lately is the Dermalogica Phyto Nature Oxygen Cream. This really makes you have that like glass skin kind of look. Last but not least, I cannot forget, you must wear daily sunscreen. This is going to be the number one thing to prevent the wrinkles, to prevent pigmentation because sunlight actually causes a lot of those spots to really come out. This is my favorite. It's by Elta MD. It's the UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. I've tried a lot of different sunscreens and really not all of them are treated equally. Some of them actually do make my skin still have more pigmentation, but I feel like this is one where I've actually seen a significant, mm, I don't want to say reduction because when the spots are there, it's really a lot more difficult to get them to go away, but it's helped prevent the appearance of of brand new spots. So I really like this one, plus it doesn't sting my eyes or leave any white cast. Honestly, that's about it. It is so simple. Literally my morning routine is pretty much just this. I don't use a cleanser. I use my active and then my moisturizer and my sunscreen. In the evening, it's a little bit more complicated, but not by much. I do my cleansing and then maybe a hydration layer my active and my moisturizer. So I guess that is about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my very, very simple skincare routine. This has helped me to look a little bit younger and fresher, especially over time, especially at this age where I think that that's like a big concern on a lot of people's minds. So I cannot say enough good things about retinol, vitamin C, and keeping it simple. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. I hope this was informative. If you liked it, please hit thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.